Hey, good morning. Today, we are learning about a very interesting subject, ferals. Do you know them? I will tell you about The remarkable sophistication of the ancient Egyptian empire is still hard to reconcile with how for far back in time it existed. But the stories of the pharaohs undoubtedly bring us closer to a fascinating civilization that spanned over 3,000 years and 170 pharaohs. Here are five of them. Akhenaten. He reigned from 1351 to 1334 BC. The son of Amenhotep III. Akhenaten was named Amenhotep IV at birth but changed his name in accordance with his radical monotheistic beliefs. The meaning of his new name, he who is of service of the Aten, honored what he believed to be the one true God, Aten, the Son, God. Tutankhamun, he reigned from 1332 to 1323 BC the youngest pharaoh in Egyptian history when he ascended to the throne at just 9 or 10 years old. Tutankhamun became the most famous pharaoh of all. But the young pharaoh's fame isn't the result of extraordinary achievements, but instead derives almost entirely from the discovery of his tomb in 1922 one of the great archaeological finds of the 20th century. Ramses II, he reigned from 1279 to 1213 BC. Ramses XII was undoubtedly the greatest of the 19th dynasty and even by Pharaoh's standards unbashedly ostentatious. The son of Seti I, with whom he had a period of courageousy, Ramses II went on to declare himself a god while earning a reputation as a great warrior, fathering 96 children and ruling for 67 years. Sexus I reigned from 486 to 465 BC. Sexus I reigned in the 27th dynasty, during which time Egypt was part of the Persian Empire having been conquered in 525 BC. Persian Achaemenid kings were acknowledged as pharaohs and so Xerxes, the Greek, as he was known, earns a place on our list by virtue of fame, if not popularity. Cleopatra VII, she reigned 51 to 30 BC, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic kingdom of Egypt. Cleopatra VII, she reigned from 51 to 30 BC, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Cleopatra presided over the dying days of the Egyptian Empire, yet her fame has lived on through folklore, Shakespeare and Hollywood. It's hard to disentangle the real Cleopatra from the legion, but Scholars suggest that her portrayal as a stunningly beautiful seductress undersells her brilliance as a leader. Yet, despite the spiritual reverence with which they were regarded, the pharaohs were also responsible for the more earthly concerns of leadership, and each pharaoh had a unique legacy. Wow, this was a little bit crazy, right? I hope you remember the name of the five pharaohs. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.